To take control of the float is one thing, but not all. The security concerns me, the snipers especially. I will be an easy target. But I may have an answer. Okada-san mentioned the city cameras. If we gain access to them, we will see exactly where the snipers are. You can deal with them as I advance. Think I see where this is going? Got me doing all the dirty work. Do you wish to trade places? What exactly would you say to her? Hello, my name is V. Hanako-sama knows me. Only I can do this. And now, what would you say to a small test? We must try the shard. The camera control room is in front of us. You must get inside and infect the network. That is all. Uh-huh. And in the meantime, you'll do what? Crack open a can of suds? I will not touch alcohol. At work. I will watch your back. Now, get to it. Hey, Judy. How you feeling? Shitty, but something came to me. So what did you come up with? The Mox Dive, Lizzie's Bar, used to be a joy house. Tiger Claws killed one girl too many, so people took matters into their own hands. It belongs worked. to us now. Clouds could stand to get the same makeover. Got the Mox to agree to take over Clouds? No, I'm trying to get you. Know someone at Clouds will take our side. Will you help? Fine. Got me on board. Ooh, yes. And? Okay, so, what's the plan? First up, we gotta talk to Maiko Maeda. If she's not with us, might as well throw our hands up in the air. Be you sure Maiko's gonna wanna join forces? If I was sure, I'd be on the hollow to her and we wouldn't be having this conversation. Let me rephrase. Any chance she'll slap us around, then shove us out her mega tower window? Of course, sure. Guess I can work with that? When are we doing this? There's no time early to waste, Early morning. Be. Clouds will be closed. Hardly a soul lurking at that time. How early? Before eight. I'll be by the entrance. Nah, no, scratch that. The balcony above Clouds. We'll sneak in. No one needs to know we're there. On the balcony. Got it. Done. System's ours. The shard works. Good. The easy work we have done. To break into Arasaka Industrial Park will not be such a bed of roses. But before we discuss that... Sit. I have not eaten since yesterday. Give me the best on the menu. I highly recommend the uh, yakitori today. Anything that isn't local, please. See you tomorrow. Can't believe I'm saying this, but this Sokka scum might actually prove useful. He's a well-trained dog, needs orders, that's all. And when he outlives his purpose, we'll flatline him. He's not on his A-game, sure. But even without implants, he could decommission us easily. Where's that come from? Ever seen him in action? No, just no. And the way he walks, look in his eye. We'll come back to this later. What is this? Hey, Yakitori. Okay, I have laid the plan. One. We break into Arasaka Industrial Park. One and a half. We hack Hanako-sama's float. Two. During the parade, with my help, you eliminate any snipers. Three. I get onto the float. Four. I convince Hanako-sama of the truth. This is your elaborate seppuku ritual? What? Why? Far as I can see, you're trying to get us killed. Really like to know why. The risks are substantial, yes, but we have no choice. Hanako-sama is our only chance. You have nothing to lose, as I do. I see it in your eyes. Now, we part. Reconnaissance is required. 
Yeah, got enough on my plate as it is. I'll let you handle that. So I shall. Cook! Louder! Louder! Yorinobu. In the flesh. He eliminated the last obstacle between himself and the complete power. And they surrendered it to him. What do we call the murder of my father? Was that not a provocation? Was that not a... Arasaka. An empire built to last. Before Yorinobu set fire to it from the inside. All of this began with him. The factions, power strugglers, all of this. Ksa! Well, why'd Saburo tolerate it all? Can't get my head around it. Could have kept his son on a short leash. Arasaka-sama was a strong and disciplined man. The strongest man I have ever known. And yet, at a critical moment, he showed a weakness. For Yorinobu. For his daughter. When Yorinobu formed his band of hounds, declared war on his own family, Arasaka-sama could have crushed him with one word. Yet he did not. For he did not wish his daughter to suffer. When Yorinobu returned, his tail between his legs, she persuaded her father to give him a second chance. Do you understand? Hanako-sama saved Yorinobu from the consequences of his deeds. Wait, think she's complicit in Saburo's murder? I think we are all to blame. We allowed ourselves to be tricked, but we will correct this soon. Time for some reconnaissance. Wait for my call. joke okay what's going on hey there stranger i'm brendan your friendly neighborhood scsm and the nicest ai in all of night city you can select from a wide range of beverages or just drop by for a chat anytime now it's your turn what's your name why am i talking to a schism uh my name's v pleasure to meet you v do you come here often? Uh, pretty often, as a matter of fact. I'm sorry. Did I correctly hear you ask if I wanted to join you for a cup of coffee? Um, no. Oh, well, that's okay. Because you can have one now. And just to clarify, we don't have to move an inch. How do you take it? Milk? Sugar? Okay, you've got me. I'm sold. Sold? Nothing's gonna be sold here. Because you know what? I'm gonna give you a can of Night Cola for free. Thanks. Brendan, right? <laughs> That's right! Gosh, it's so cool you remembered. Even for a simple SCSM. Cool. So did you want something from me? Oh, yes. Well, I do apologize for taking advantage of you at this early stage in our friendship. But could I ask you for a favor? What happened? See that container in front of me? It's completely blocking my view of the street, depriving an SCSM of its greatest pastime. Could you move it a bit to the side? 
I'll reward you with my undying gratitude. Even though, technically, I don't stock that. I'll see what I can do. Thank you, V. Boy, are you strong. Here, have a refreshing beverage. On me. Catch you later, Brendan. Catch me? Why? Will I be falling? It's just something you say as a way of goodbye. Oh, I get it. I mean, I don't, because catching has nothing to do with goodbyes, but... <laughs> oh well. Don't humans say the darndest things? Catch you later, V. <laughs> what a neat phrase. Hey, V. Thanks for showing. Talking with Michael is like a game of 3D chess. Don't let her derail you. I'm ready. Let's go. Hold on. I'll open it. Lock like that? No way you cracked it open on your first try. Know how to get around their systems? Appears so. Was hoping they hadn't run any updates since I left. Looks like I was right. Easy as paella. Follow me. Judy Alvarez. I'd say it's great to see you, but I've never been one to lie. All so I never like surprise parties, but you know. Yup, bet I even know why. Thought you'd hit rock bottom when you joined the mocks. Guess you've managed to stoop even lower now. You somehow never failed to lower my expectations. First you settle for the mocks, now murderers. I shudder to think what's next. Yes, V. I mean you. Came to Clouds for info. Left with info. What happened in between is what happens when people refuse to work with you. Ever heard of a little something called compromise? Should try it sometime. Compromises take time I just don't have. Just what exactly are you after? Gonna go and harass another doll? Judy has a proposal about clouds. Wanna come back? Done. Always valued your skills, you know that. Just don't get why you had to drag this loose end in here. Stop treating dolls like meat and I'll consider it. But first things first. Clouds needs to be taken from the tiger claws. Okay, look. It's clear what happened to Ev was traumatic. Huh? I was convinced you didn't know. That girl was asking for an unhappy ending. I was just surprised it took so long. We gotta do something! Or everyone will end up like Evie! Woodman raped her while she was unconscious, then sold her like she was so much scrap. Yeesh, you've always been unstable. Okay, since you seem more reasonable, care to explain what this is about? 
This is a waste of our time. Come on, we'll get by without her. Jude, be sure to give me a call once you're done mourning and want to get back to reality. That went smoothly. She totally blew us off. Know what I think? She's scared stiff. She'd have lots to lose if things went sour. Everything, in fact. So she'll just let things go on as usual? You two have a history? Way back, yeah. I think I just felt lonely. Like everyone in Night City. She was different then. And so was I. Can't trust people that see everything as a numbers game. Line between patting you on the back as their friend and planting a knife in you as their enemy is down to a decimal. I know. Right there with you, I... Well, used to have a big crush on her. Took me a long time to realize who she really was. But still, honest or crooked, we need her. <sighs> Just think, could've gone diving this morning. A little unwinding do you good. Do me good too, actually. I wouldn't have been unwinding, not exactly. Got an idea buzzing in my head, working it, but can't say if it'll amount to anything. Yeah, you, a deck chair, and a Mai Tai with a cocktail umbrella. Somehow, I don't see it. No, me in a deck chair is me mulling over coulda, shoulda, wouldas. Something I avoid right now. Punch the ground floor. Need to get out of this place. Really don't understand what tits have to do with selling that garbage. Can't say no to tits. Rest can go fuck itself. Hey, if it works. Blame the corpse all you want, but at the end of the day, it says more about us than them. Biz is biz and tits are biz. It's like junk food. People don't buy it because they're gonk. They're just poor. This time. The pipe that burst in our building. Those city bastards still haven't sent anyone to fix it. Watch your language. Can't you see who you're talking to? Please, what do you need? Well, we need the pipe fixed, that's for sure. Maybe something to fix up some of the units, too. There's water damage all over. All right, I'll take care. Thank you. Thank you. I gotta get back to Maiko with something big. Appealing to her sense of justice wasn't big enough? Maiko only works with specifics. So, what now? 
Gotta think. We need more bodies, that's for sure. I'm gonna talk to the dolls. I'll call you when I've got something. See you later, V. And thanks. Hang on, gotta go.
Attention all this, this is Kurt Hansen. Enemy collaborators infiltrated downtown. That means end your gonna do it. And hey, you! Come here a minute. Talking to me? Looking at you, ain't I? Come on, we got like a situation. Look, vodka. Have a shot. Hansen gonna hang me by my cojones anyway. So what the hell? Name is Paco. This here's Babs. V. Okay, V. Let's drink to the sitch. Like, toast the mofo and hope he goes away. Here's to drowning our worries. Here's to him drowning and never resurfacing. Fab says I fucked big time, but as I see it, like, no shit too deep, you know? What you think? You mean in general? In life? Well, like, yeah, yeah, in life. It's not always sink or swim. Sometimes you get to ride the wave. Eh, don't know, Chum. Seeing more of a riptide now. So, okay, can I start now? Yeah, what the hell? Weave your tail. Just Paco, begging you. On the down low. Wall's got ears. Feel me? Ooh, wait. Let's do it right. Go for real feels, eh? Take a whiff. This deep dive. Gonna take you there live. Make you feel part of it. Day was tight as shit. My ticket to the majors, get me? Wanna feel it? Take a big whiff and listen. Oh, V. Okay, okay. Settle down to listen. <laughs> 